If you've ever played a basketball video game and you create yourself in the game, that's Victor Wembanyama. Victor Wembanyama is taking the height slider and moving it all the way to the right, taking the length slider, moving it all the way to the right, giving yourself way more ball handling skill than you should have at that size, giving yourself more shooting than you should be able to have at your size. You're blown past the cap on what your three-point rating should be. That's what Victor Wembanyama is. He is something out of a video game. It's hard to imagine him being anything other than incredible. It, it's, it's that good. I mean, he's 7'5", can handle, shoot, pass, do almost anything you'd expect a wing to be able to do with that size and length and a release point where almost, I feel like almost no one's going to be able to block. Uh, we're talking about a really special player. So his ceiling, I think, if all goes well and he continues to develop and he stays relatively healthy, we may be talking about one of the greatest big men ever. This is the type of prospect that can absolutely change a franchise. His two-way impact makes him not only the best prospect in this draft class, but it really cements him as one of the best prospects we've seen over the last 10 to 20 years. The fact that he's even in that conversation it leaves executives with no other choice. It's a no-brainer to take him number one overall in the 2023 NBA draft. Born on January 4th, 2004, Victor Wimbenyama was always destined to stand out. His father, a 6'6 track and field athlete, and his mother, a 6'3 former basketball player and eventual coach, combined to raise Victor and his siblings in an environment that embraced the beauty of sports. In a certain way, I've never really started the basketball. I've always been plunged in it, even from my young age, with my mother, who was a coach, and a family of sportive in general. Donc j'ai toujours eu un ballon entre les mains et pratiqué du basket pas forcément régulièrement mais j'ai toujours su jouer en tout cas. I've always known basketball was like the, what I wanted to do. I got people telling me that even when I was a kid I was telling them I, I was going to play in the NBA like that that's really something that's been on my mind for a long time. Having found a passion on the court, Victor would begin playing for his first club, Entente Luchene Versailles, at age seven. Already standing at five foot six, the team's coach was quoted saying that when Wimbenyama arrived at the tryout, everyone thought he was already twice his age, with some staff accidentally mistaking him for an assistant coach. Being defined by the huge size difference he had from his peers, Victor's height would become a personal struggle he'd have to overcome early in life. It's not easy every day being different from everyone, but uh, you just get used to it. And uh, you know, you, you get to learn how to turn this into a strength. At a, uh, at a young age, I, had a, I was mature enough to to not get frustrated by, by like being different than others or, or some, so like it was okay. Uh, uh, I had um, I had my struggles like with my height and, and all, but it, like it's okay. I, I got used to it pretty quickly. Take your picture. Yeah. I get a picture. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. You're a tall mother. <laughs> I want to take a quick moment to thank the sponsor of this project. One of the biggest names in daily fantasy sports, DraftKings and I are teaming up to bring all new customers a winning offer. All new players have to do is sign up for DraftKings using my promo code TRICE and put at least $5 on a pregame money line for any basketball game. By doing this, you'll receive an additional $150 in bonus bets if your bet wins. That's $150 in your DraftKings account that can be used for other great features like same game parlays, where you can combine multiple bets from one game for even bigger winnings. 
If mobile sports betting is not yet available in your state, don't worry. You can still get in on the fun with DraftKings Daily Fantasy. That means there are plenty of options for you to get in on the Daily Fantasy Sports action just by signing up. There will be a link in the description to get you started playing ASAP. Again, just sign up with the promo code TRICE to take your sports viewing experience to a new level. By the time Victor was 10 years old, he had already begun creating buzz around his city, enough so that he would soon be discovered by Nanterre 92, a premier club in France. Avec la proximité des clubs de du Chenet et de Nanterre, il y a eu un contact qui s'est fait et j'ai été repéré entre guillemets par par les coachs de Nanterre, notamment Michael Allard, qui m'ont ensuite invité à faire un tournoi amical, le tournoi de Bourbourg. The following year, Wimbenyama would win his first championship with the club at just 11 years old, a moment that made a young victor fall in love with something other than just hoops, winning. Over the next two years, Wimbenyama would continue to develop an unorthodox skill set to fit his already unique frame, beginning to incorporate a smooth touch and crafty offensive game to pair with his already elite shot blocking. To see a guy that large, that long, moving the way that he did, the touch on his jump shot, the way that it looks coming out of his hand. Watching all that with Victor was all pretty incredible on tape. And so I would say my first reaction was just shock and awe. I, I think that's the best way to put it. As he moved to Nanterre to live on campus for full-time player development, some of the coaching staff were already convinced that Victor was destined for the NBA, a dream he had already begun to have himself. Comme tout basketteur, j'imagine se faire drafter et jouer en NBA. Bien sûr, c'est un rêve, mais avant tout un objectif. Mais Pas seulement de jouer en NBA, mais aussi d'être un joueur dominant en NBA et être capable de, de mener une équipe, j'espère, jusqu'à un titre NBA. C'est un rêve aussi, mais il y, y a bien sûr encore énormément d'étapes à franchir et de palier entre le victoire que je suis aujourd'hui et celui que j'espère devenir. Having been on the radar of the French national team for years thanks to his high level of play with Nanterre, when time came for the U16 European Championship in the summer of 2019, Victor was called to represent his country for the first time. L'équipe de France, ce, ce championnat d'Europe cet été, l'occasion de, de porter pour la première fois un maillot officiel équipe de France avec mon nom derrière, etc. Ça s'est plutôt mal passé pour moi au début. J'étais pas pas sûr d'être pris au final pour la compétition, mais euh, j'ai su euh, grâce bien sûr au coach de France, mais aussi au travail à côté effectué avec le club de Nanterre entre les stages, prouver euh, qui j'étais et que même si j'évoluais pas dans les mêmes registres que en club, j'ai su euh, m'imposer sur le terrain et montrer euh, montrer des belles choses. In his first FIBA action, Wimbenyama would average 9 points and 9 rebounds as he tried to find his place on France's roster. By the end of the tournament, he had contributed to their unexpected appearance in the gold medal game, and despite being unable to win it all, would come home with his first international hardware. Après, après une longue préparation de presque deux mois, Avec l'équipe, ça, ça a été loin d'être facile. Vraiment. On n'était pas du tout euh, favori avant le début du championnat d'Europe. Malgré euh, la sensation douloureuse de perdre en finale, c'est, ça reste un beau souvenir en fait. Et aujourd'hui, avec le recul, je me rends compte qu'une médaille euh, internationale, peu importe la médaille, c'est déjà incroyable. C'est l'occasion de, de montrer au monde et à l'Europe, euh, dans ce cas-là, ce que, ce que représente la France. Following his play with the national team, Victor would experience himself in the public eye of the sports world for the first time, 
As fans and media across Europe began to discover him through the tournament, he would quickly have to learn how to deal with the criticism that comes with being unique. It has never been a pressure, and uh, I hope he will never become one. I don't really care about it. Like I'm not, I'm not looking up what people say about me. Like this, this is not something again. Uh, I keep on my mind, you know. The thing is, I, I always expect more of myself than anyone expects of me. So all the things on, that happen in the in the press, in the on, in the internet, I don't really care about it. Like it's just me and myself. Whatever happens, whatever people can have, whatever expectations about me, I, I'm gonna always have what I expect about myself and just follow this this course, this path. By this point, Wimbenyama's production on the court for both Nanterre and the French national team had made Wimbenyama a well-known prospect across Europe. But it was a viral video in the fall of 2020 that would introduce him to the rest of the world. So the first time I heard about Victor Womanyama, I believe it was like a year, year and a half ago when some of that video came out between Victor Womanyama doing that little one-on-one -on -one workout with Rudy Gobert. Victor just, between his height, his length, he was just towering over him a little bit. And then he was taking him into the post. He was hitting some fadeaway shots. So you're seeing the seven foot four human being with very legitimate skill just in that setting, it makes you want to go back and watch and be like, what else am I going to see if I flip on the tape? Armed with an eight foot wingspan, longer than any active NBA player, and making his pro debut in the LNB Pro A, France's top league, Wimbenyama was ready to show the world just how versatile he could be. I thought he was he was very impressed. Uh, he was clearly really big. He had some shooting prowess to him, and he knew what he was doing on the defensive end. But when I first saw him, I definitely thought like the raw building blocks of a superstar were there. Oh, Teams are looking for jumbo creators. They want guys who are 6'7", six, 6'8", six, and taller, who can handle the ball, dribble pass and shoot. He's the next generation of that, or the, the, the next iteration of that, where he's a jumbo creator, but maybe not just a jumbo creator, he's a gigantic creator. Oh la la! Et le caviar! Et oui! That summer, Victor would once again be selected to represent his country, this time at the 2021 FIBA U19 World Cup. Excited to wear the colors of France once again, Wimbenyama would dominate the tournament again leading France to the gold medal game against the United States, this time setting up a larger-than-life matchup with fellow seven-footer and soon-to-be number two overall pick in the 2022 NBA draft, Chet Holmgren. I thought about it every day, <laughs> but now I don't think about it every day. I think about it from time to time. It's, it happens. I gotta, I gotta get onto another thing. But I, I'm for sure. I'm looking forward to playing Team USA again. You know, I, I learned a lot, and I can't come back into the, the past and just change things. But yeah, I would have loved to win it. Yeah. 
Looking to take his game to a new level, Wimbenyama would make the surprise decision to leave his club of seven years, opting to sign with ASVO, a powerhouse French basketball club led by future NBA Hall of Famer Tony Parker. Unlike Nanterre, who primarily play in France's LNB Pro A League, Asvel also plays in the prominent Euro League, widely regarded as the second best professional basketball league in the world. With many NBA players having earned their names in the Euro League, this was an opportunity for Victor to truly prove once and for all that he could compete at the highest level. Mbeyama blocks the shot, what a long reach, and he's off to the races to the fast break. Victor Mbeyama! Mbeyama, baseline, oh! Opens up an avenue for Peters, and Mbeyama says, me no more to me! Knight, in, upstairs, oh my word, what a slam dunk from Mbeyama! Playing in both the EuroLeague and LNB Pro A, Victor had shown flashes of greatness in 2022. His play not only earned him the LNB Pro A's Best Young Player Award, but it also resulted in Winbenyama's name shooting up 2023 NBA draft boards. The now 18-year-old had shown that his unique skill set could translate to a higher level of basketball and Victor was now widely considered the favorite to be the draft's top selection when he became eligible the following year. Uh, as a person, he's great. He's a great human being, he's a great kid, and uh, he's very, very talented. And it's hard to know uh, like how high he can go. Uh, and so that's the, the beauty of it, and that's why I think every GM in the NBA thinks he's going to be number one. Uh, sky is the limit for him, he can do anything he wants. And that's why when people ask me, how can you compare? I'm like, I don't know how to compare. Uh, he's very unique because he runs like a guard. Uh, he shoots like a guard, but he's 7'2". Uh, he's super long. His wingspan is unbelievable. He's got a great motor. He wants to win. And his, uh, his mental is great too. Mentally, mm. he wants to be the best. So that's the best part of it. Despite promises from Tony Parker to build the club around him the following season, Victor would once again opt to change clubs in the offseason, making the surprising move to leave the EuroLeague. Mbanyama is so good that he could just shut down for the next season and he would still be the number one draft Yeah, so maybe that's the thing. He doesn't need to play too many games exactly. and maybe get injured. Exactly. Playing just in he can, regular minutes in the French League. He can play once per week yeah. in French League with no expectations, with no travels around Europe, with commercial flights. He has more. He will have more time to work with his skills, to get ready yeah. for the draft, to take care of his body, which is exceptional. In July of 2022, Wimbenyama would elect to sign with Metropolitan's 92, a club located close to Victor's parents in louvain Perret. Playing in France's LNB Pro A League, the club's coach, Vincent Collet, is also the head coach of the French national team and has a reputation for preparing players for the NBA level, something that Victor valued heading into his final season before the NBA draft. Knowing that building strength is a priority, a group of team employees meet once a month to discuss how to best help Wimbenyama add strength to his lanky frame. Coach Cole says, quote, I told him that I'm not going to specifically try to get him to be the first pick of the draft. We'd rather get him prepared for the bigger goal, which is to dominate the NBA. The ultimate goal, you know, is, for example, to acquire uh, Yanis Antetokounmpo's uh, strength, you know, strength condition, but I don't have one role model. In an unprecedented move, it was announced that Wimbenyama and Metropolitan's 92 would be traveling across the water to play a pair of exhibition games against the NBA's G League Ignite, a developmental program for up-and-coming prospects looking for an alternative to the traditional NCAA route. The Ignite have produced multiple NBA draft lottery picks in the past two seasons and just so happened to be led by the projected number two pick in the 2023 NBA draft. So Scoot Henderson is a special, special guard talent. 
On the take, Henderson! Oh, 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 oh my goodness, oh, Scoot Henderson! Geez. He is an absolute blur. He is unbelievably fast. He can fly off the floor. He is crazy strong. There are so few point guards that I, I don't know if I've seen one in my lifetime that's as developed as he is at his age. Uh, I've been following him since like, I'd say one or two years. If I, w if I was never born, I think he would deserve the, the first spot. In terms of uh, recognition, you know, worldwide, this is, I think, yeah, this has got to be the biggest game I'm playing in my life. As soon as I walked into the building, I was there with Tyler Rucker, also of No Ceilings, but we walked in together and we could just feel the excitement, the, the energy, the, the vibes in the building, right? We could tell that everybody was there because they felt like they were going to be witnessing a, a small piece of history. I'm ready, man. I mean, it's just something special. It's been so much hype. There's so much excitement. And again, when you have the opportunity to see, you know, not just one, but possibly two generational talents on the same floor at this stage, it's an exciting time. They are excited for this new home. Scoot Henderson, first jump shot. Got it. And that's where Scoot has put in the work over the summer. Over the team player so far from what we've seen. Sissoko denied. Wembenyama on the block. Mika gets back to Henderson. Finishes over Wembenyama. You ever seen a 7-4 guy bringing it up? I like this matchup. Scoot right. Henderson, one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah! Right back at him. With how well Scoot played, with Scoot's ability to control the game, his willingness to attack Victor, his willingness to get down in the stance and defend, his ability to make shots from all over the floor, his pick and roll craft, the fact that I can list out all of those positives about Scoot's game and still come out and say in that game, as well as the second exhibition between both teams, that, that Victor was the prospect to take away, that should mean something. Yama calmly knocks down a three. Another try. Miller in traffic. Oh, oh, punched out of here. I'm sure NBA teams had their expectations, right? But to see it live in front of you is something else. And I really think he blew myself and everyone else out, out the water and really kind of shocked us with how amazing he was, how graceful he was. Devontae Jones trying to push the pace. Hands off. Wemba Yama. Uh oh my goodness. Uh oh Turns and faces. Trying to get the move. Step back. Wemba Yama. Oh, this kid is good. There was a real tide shift at that point. We went from having a player who was theoretically a generational player to knowing that we had a generational player on our hands. Proving why he deserved to be the NBA's top pick, Victor would average 36.5 points, 7.5 rebounds, and 4.5 blocks across the two games. High quality numbers in his first NBA style action. Officially showcasing his unique skill set to fans across the United States, the buzz created by Wimbenyama's performance not only caught the attention of the media, but also some of the game's biggest stars. We're labeling like this unicorn thing. Everybody's been a unicorn over the last few years, but he's more like, like an alien. 7-5, high release point, elevation on his jump shot, quickness, footwork. That's the scariest thing that we've ever seen. My friend, you will be in the league with this kid, Tom. You have to get ready, eh? He can block shot like Rudy, but shoot like KD. Yeah, he's like the 2K creative player. Chico type vibes. These ain't just swing, swing, catch and shoot wide open. He getting them off pick and rolls. He doing it in transition. He doing it off the dribble. He falling out of bounds on the baseline, knocking down threes. He's going to change the way the game is played. There'll be a lot of pressure on him, but he seems like cool with it. Yeah, the evolution of the game is taking us this far, you know what I'm saying? We got seven, five dudes who's able to do everything on the court, you know? Lee's really in trouble when he comes in. He has the chance to be one of the best, not in his age or not in Europe, one of the best to ever play this game. I mean, it, it's obviously a, an honor to see um, such great people talk like this about me, but it really doesn't, it doesn't change any, anything. The thing is, I didn't do anything yet. I didn't play a game in the NBA yet. I wasn't drafted. Uh, and so I got to stay focused to, to reach my goals.
Upon his return to his home country, Victor would receive his first senior men's national team action for France. Penetration goes inside when Manyama just gets it at the second attempt and puts the throw down off his own miss for two. When Benyama between the legs, off one foot, the running three is good. Nice drive for the rejection for Wimbenyama to recovery. As the centerpiece on the roster, Wimbenyama would help France punch their ticket to the 2023 World Cup, further solidifying his place as the future of the country's basketball success. With the 2023 LNB Pro A season well underway, Victor Wimbenyama has emerged as one of the most dominant players in the league's history. With the NBA announcing that it would stream all of Metropolitan 92's games on its mobile app, eyes from across the globe have been focused on how Wimbenyama could finish his international career prior to beginning the draft process. And so far, nobody has been disappointed. Victor Wimbenyama! Wemby. Crossing over, spinning to the hoop and one. Sauf peut-être cet homme, Victor Mbanyama, qui euh, n'a de limite que le ciel. Oh là 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 là, le tir à trois points sur un appui. Un sorcier dans ce match là. Oh, il a voulu poster, ouais. mais pas là. Il va vouloir jouer, il va vouloir jouer, Victor. La bonne défense, la bonne défense d'Alain de Cossy, le tir. Oh là là, mais quel tir extraordinaire. Il veut jouer, il veut jouer, il veut jouer. Oh, c'est dur ça dans le corner, ou là, ça va tomber dedans. Oh Currently averaging 21 points, 10 rebounds, and 3 blocks per game, Victor has put together some dominant performances, including a stretch of 4 straight 30-point games to help push the club along a 9-game win streak. His efforts would be recognized during the LNB's All-Star Weekend, being named a captain before dropping 27 points and 12 rebounds on his way to being the event's youngest MVP ever. However, possibly the biggest moment of the season thus far came on January 9, 2023, when Metro 92 trailed Wimbenyama's former team ASVEL by one point with only 10 seconds remaining. As the 2023 NBA draft quickly approaches, there's plenty of speculation about Victor Wimbenyama's impending arrival to the game's highest level which is expected considering the way Victor is already being touted as the greatest draft prospect of his generation. I think Victor Wembanyama is the 1B to LeBron James's 1A, if we're talking about best prospects of the last 20 years. I think what LeBron had going for him was that we'd seen things similar to LeBron before. And it was easy to kind of picture in your head, physically we've seen guys who are built this way before and this is what we can kind of expect from them. With Victor, we've just never seen anything like this. Victor is somebody who, as I mentioned, maybe we haven't heard about um, for as long as we did LeBron, um, but he's very quickly becoming a household type of name because all these teams that may start considering tanking and start considering you know, losing some more games, they know what the, the prize is. I, in my opinion, this is a really strong draft class coming in, but the grand prize is Victor Wembanyama. He's on the, a, a level of his own. There is no scenario that I can envision in which he's not at least a starter on an NBA team with his ceiling being much greater than that. What we've already been able to evaluate on tape, what we know we're getting in the short term as well as what he can become in the long term, he could not only be the best player in the NBA for this generation, he could become the greatest NBA player of all time. And I, I don't think that can be understated. There's, there's very few things that lead me to believe that he won't end up in a top 15, top 20 player of all time discussion again, barring that he continues to have that, that illustrious, long and healthy career. At the end of the day, I'm, I'm myself. And my goal, one of my goals is that I'm not comparable to anyone. And this is why I don't think any comparison is accurate because my goal 
is reasonably one of a kind, and I'm, 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 I know I'm going to be. Standing out is nothing new to Victor. He's been doing it his entire life. But he's about to embark on a journey that could take him to heights that even someone who's seven foot four could never expect to reach. The National Basketball Association is known for its stars, athletes who are larger than life and whose brands stretch far beyond the basketball court. A spotlight that's been too hot for many players without even half the hype of Wimbanyama. But it's his ability to handle the attention that's the biggest reason Victor could someday find himself as the game's biggest star. These are the moments that he's been preparing for his entire life. It's just me and myself. People can have whatever ex expectations about me. I'm gonna always have what I expect about myself and just follow this, this course. So I, I expect to be great. Not less. <laughs>